My name is Dustin Jamboretz. I went to Rockhurst High School in Kansas City, Missouri. My name is Madeline Houck. I went to St. Ignatius College Prep in Chicago, Illinois. My name is Mike Millick. I went to St. Joe's Prep in Philadelphia, PA. With it being so close, the community um, kind of relates back to my high school. When I was in high school, I would walk through the halls and say hi to everyone that I met. Their welcome week is just meeting a ton of people. And then you make those connections, and then, you know, those connections, you know, even through uh, my freshman floor uh, where I lived in Greece. You know, I'm living with two of my uh, best friends from freshman year. I like the athletic training part of the St. Louis University community because that's even closer knit. You know, professor to student ratio is incredible and they know you, they know your name, they know your face, they know about you, where you're from, your clinical site, and it's very personal. You, I never felt like I was lost in the crowd. Knowing more about anatomy and physiology, strength and conditioning, nutrition, that not only allows me to understand other people's bodies better to help them, but I understand myself more and I can translate that into what I eat and what I do in my free time. And, um, and spiritually, you, you're, you're giving to others and you're helping others and it's, I mean, athletic training can really truly be a, a selfless act and um, help nurture your spirit. So although St. Louis University was supposed to teach you just the skills and abilities to be a great athletic trainer, I think they teach you so much more in terms of how you perceive yourself as a healthcare professional and why you want to help others. There's two big things that I learned from the St. Louis University athletic training program. The first was to make the most out of every day and just to work your hardest and set a lot of personal goals and try and achieve those. And then I think the other one was um, just to always reflect on your experiences, you know, whether it's writing reflections for classes or talking about it in class. I think that looking at your daily experiences and see where you went right or went wrong or, you know, the moral or professional or intellectual portions of each experience, I think it's important to look back at all that and try and figure out what you could have done better. And really nice for the clinical experiences because being out in the community every single day, um, and utilizing what you learned in the classroom that day. This university has already has a tradition of kind of excellence out in the community and people understand and they kind of expect you to, to treat people well just because of, I guess, your predecessors that came before you. So I am a part of the Roosevelt High School Athletic Training Club in that we go to Roosevelt High School um, and teach any of the students who are part of the AC club just information about AT or athletic training. Just so many chances to be a woman for others, to practice athletic training and help athletes and anyone else that you come across. Whenever I think of greater glory of God, I always think of the Ignatian prayer. And so I think about, you know, to give and not to count the cost. And that's a huge thing with our clinical sites. It, our professors stress so much the more you put in, the more you'll get out. If you really give and not count the cost of what you're doing, you get tremendous rewards in return. It's helping every athlete, no matter if it was you know, the star player who's playing every minute of every quarter, or just the player on the bench who may not get any time. But we're treating them just as equally and making sure that they get the best care that they can. And I think that through this formation and learning about yourself, you truly learn why you want to help others. Um, athletic training, at least what I found, it's not for the extrinsic rewards of helping athletes and being on a big stage. Rather, it's about helping each individual um, achieve their, their you know, healthcare-related goals. St. Louis University. Higher purpose. Greater good.